This is the reason why Kaiser kind of Chiefs will keep losing games. Um, you will remember that Stuart Baxter has been with Kaiser Chiefs even way before the preseason. He has been with Kaiser Chiefs when Kaiser Chiefs was playing in the Cape Champions League. He, he sat there and he was not permitted to coach the team because of his work permit until Kaiser Chiefs reached the final and during the final then he was the head coach. After that, Kaiser Chiefs went into uh, the, what, what, pre, the, the the break, and then from the break, they came back to the preseason. Uh, after coming back to the preseason, they played the MTN 8 with Mamelo de Sundowns, where Kaiser Chiefs went on to lose that game. And that after that, they went to play Tears Galaxy at draw, and then they went to play uh, Barroca, that was a win, and then they played Mamelo Sundowns, that was a lose. And then another team, the, 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 the recent team, it was Royal AM, an emphatic. Fantastic score of 4 nil, 4 1, in fact, not nil. They went to lose that game. Now, the question that has been posed is Stuart Baxter has got the best players. Now, let's start to count here. Um, we had a best coach in the form of Steve Compella, but he did not have the players that Stuart Baxter has been given. He was fired. Kaiser was fired, uh, look, hired. This coach called, I think it's Solinas. I, I forgot the it's called Jovino or what? Solinas. Solinas failed at Kaiser Chiefs and he was fired. After Solinas, who came from German, by the way, Kaiser Chiefs hired um, this man called um, Ernest Middendorf. Ernest Middendorf, he lost the league because he didn't have plan B. Um, then he was fired. After Middendorf, Kaiser Chiefs hired Gavin Hunt and he failed dismally. After coming hunt, Kazachus hired Stuart Baxter, who is now a current coach. Now, look at the, the, this three, uh, from mid and up, Gavin Hunt and Stuart Baxter, they are playing the very same football. And there is one problem about them, they don't have plan B. If you get them in their plan, they don't have plan B. That's the problem about them. I think even Solinas had a similar problem. He, 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 Solinas, the, the, the difference about him is that he wanted to play an attacking football. But now, the thing is that he was playing that attacking football. I really loved it, but the problem is that he couldn't defend. So, balls were coming. Then he was fired. So, there's this similar, similar thinking and similar football style and similar identity. In how they approach the game these four coaches in fact three coaches let's remove Solinas but the problem is not with these coaches that's what people are, 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 are looking at that's not where we should be looking at the problem is not with these coaches the problem is with someone you don't even suspect him and you know who's that the problem is with the person who hires these coaches the person who hires these coaches does not know football. And I suspect Bobby Mdao. Because ever since he became the general manager, things have been going downward. Instead of going upward, things have been going downward. So, as long as that team has this man who keep hiring these type of coaches, don't, don't expect success. Uh, there were coaches in South Africa that were available that he could have hired. Coaches that plays football, um, beautiful football. We've got Eric Tinkler. He could have hired him. No. Um, in South Africa, okay, there was uh, Siema, the Honona Siema. Uh, he's now a current head coach at Golden Arrows. Fine, maybe one will say he doesn't think that. He could have called, he, he's ready for a team like Kaiser Chiefs, but he's playing a, a good football. There was Benny McCart that went to Amazulu. Why he was he was not hired? There's no reason. One. Okay, number three. Then even when you then decide to go and hire an international coach, when they come to South Africa, we're expecting them to do something good. We're expecting them to do something extraordinary. But they cannot just you know, we can't have Gavin Hunt and Stuart Baxter behaving the same. Then why did we bring an international coach then? 
It does not make sense. We shouldn't have brought an international coach that that has similar tactics to that of a local coach. Instead, we should have just bought these players and give it to the local coach because there's no different. What, what are we? What is it? There is a problem about the person who hires these people. He does not know football, and that's the problem about it. And until we channel, and still, and until we then channel our focus to the reason why, the, who, the reason why, or why do we seem to hire similar coaches? That's the day when we will actually come to the solution. We will then realize that mm -mm, there's a problem. Who is actually hiring these coaches? We need to target that person and tell the person that you do not know football. 